from the studio that cut J.K. Rowling from the Harry Potter special, cut Johnny Depp from this movie, cut Zack Snyder from Justice League, wants to cut Amber Heard from Aquaman 2, and is somehow cutting Ezra Miller from The Flash as we speak, comes the third of five planned films. And I'm sure Warners will honor that instead of changing their minds and cutting the last two entirely. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not getting another Harry Potter movie for a long time. Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. Journey to magical 1930s Germany. For more of what the Fantastic Beasts movies have always been about, magic politics. Well, officially the ministry takes no position. Unofficially, my money's on Santos. Magic bureaucracy. And magic black site prisons and execution chambers. Because when a fantastic beast appears in this movie, they kill its mom, slit the baby's throat, and bleed the childlike wonder from this franchise like a dead deer in a necromancer's jacuzzi. Every soft boy and small bean's favorite character is back, Newt's commander who's so unnecessary to the story, they make an animal pick the next president so he has a reason to stick around. You're all right, little one. His main love interest, Tina, is not back. Tina's been promoted, she's uh, very, very busy. Because trans rights are human rights. Also returning is Jacob and his permanent O-Face. Credence, who's dying of, uh, I don't know, Morbius disease? Queenie, who spends the entire film looking like she has a sharp rock in her shoe, but doesn't want to yell cut and ruin the take. And a bunch more characters who may or may not be carryovers from the last film. I mean, almost none of us are, of course, no matter how good of a person one tries to be. Was she in the last one? I feel like I'd remember that accent. Put yourself in danger to save a perfect stranger. Strap in for the story of a magic friendship bracelet that stops Dumbledore from fighting his high school sweetheart. I was in love with you. That's right, Dumbledore's out, he's proud. He used to be a pure blood fanatic who vowed to do a genocide. It was you who said we could reshape the world. Also, he has no friends. He probably killed his sister, abandoned his nephew, and his remaining family hates him. Real as he takes on his old flame, Colin Fair, Johnny Depp, Mads Mikkelsen's Grindelwald, a guy who hates the human race but loves to cup a face. That's why you failed me. Using a plan that's hard to follow by design, see? If we hope to defeat him, then our best hope is to confuse him. The fact that everything didn't go precisely the plan was precisely the plan. Resulting in the franchise's latest climactic goo-on-goo -goo final duel. Only the wizard with the most potent goo can win. Ready, set, game. So sit through the final installment of the series Who Lived, even though no one wanted it to anymore. As J.K. Rowling runs out of fans, runs out of nostalgia to milk. Three points to Hufflepuff. Oh, yay, said the thing. And runs out of new ideas, except for her one move where she dramatically reveals more sibling stuff. You murdered his sister. Dumbledore has a brother? Twins. We had twins. My sister was an obscurium. She's my brother. She's my sister. She's my brother and my sister. Don't tell J.K. Rowling. Story. Doctor Does Little, Jude Lawfully Good, Hannibal Lecture, Lovable Mug, Yes Queenie, Come a come a come a come a come a the magician. I used to ship him. Now I'm not so sure. One Dope Queen, Assistant to the Regional's Commander, The Flush, Crab People, Crab People, and the Mexican Pizza at Taco Bell. Astonishing. Never has something that looks so repellent tasted so delicious. Harry politics and the chillin' of a villain. You don't need a magic spell to erase the memories of these characters, dude. The movies did that all on their own.